So we've seen the we've seen this in the previous video coming down and escaping. Sometimes you can't escape. You have to have the first. Most basic option, take that shape, it doesn't matter what he's throwing. So from here, you maybe still throw it down. When you do throw it down, he's gonna drop anyway, right? Then we've got the head. Hit the head anywhere on here. Control. Okay. So we've got the hook just now from the stopping, right? We've already discussed in the previous videos about striking here. So one, two, three, knee, down. It's done. Okay. It should be done on one, really. You're hitting there, bam, that's your bit finished. That's just a follow up. And down. Okay. That also means if he's got any pals or anything, you still got control of him. You can intimidate them by smashing his face. Telling them they don't want any part of that. Yeah. Straight punches. Same thing. From here to here works quite well. Okay. You can use your whole body to move. That's going to give you much more strength in your technique. Elbows. We did the push before, which was like that. I'll just show you for this up other side. So you can see. And the push was simply moving and getting your shoulder pushing across the line. You can also use your elbows in. Straight down. That hit a pressure point there. See how it goes down. If you're striking down towards the floor, that person will go towards the floor. Yeah? So from there, down, down. Yeah. It's about keeping it as free as possible and not really looking for a target but choosing uh, choosing that target as it comes to you. You're not even choosing it, you're taking it as it comes to you. So whatever comes to you, yeah, it's open. If he was punching across here and it wasn't open, he was punching back across, you would have to strike here. Yeah. And again it's that 45 degree strike, it's not straight on and down. If you can get him to go down, you're going to be able to take advantage. Yeah? Back to the head. Right? 